All right, um, so we have uh, one of the hens here, um, one of the rainbow chicks um, with possible prolapse. So this is my second time doing this. Um, so what I have is a hot or warm uh, water and I'm putting some uh, Epsom salt in the water. And then what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to soak her bum uh, in the water to kind of soften everything up. Because um, what I'm going to have to do is uh, trim around the area so I can see what's going on. And uh, possibly, you know, cut off some of the feathers around that area that are dirty. And... Um, then try to fix the prolapse if that's what it is. And she is being a super good, calm girl. Yeah, that might change in a minute when I try to put her in the water, but um, for right now she's, she's being really calm. Um, so what I want to do, um, let's see, and I should have put my gloves on. Okay, all right. Um, all right, I might need to call in some assistance. You definitely want to have more than one person for this job because it's uh, not easy to do by yourself. So, the water really should be a little bit warmer. Than that. protect their wings so she doesn't get hurt. You kind of have to like whoop, plop her down a little bit in the water and then I just kind of hug so that they are comfortable and then it's a little bit easier to get her down in there because you want the yeah, it's like the chicken spa. Okay, all right. I'm sorry. All right. Yeah, so you want to just hold her there so she can soak for a little bit. Yeah. What I'm doing is just kind of rinsing things off as much as I can. All right, and so I'm going to start... Um, start uh, trying to get a look underneath to see um, what I can see under the feathers so But she's definitely pretty swollen under there, so, um, all right. So the biggest thing is you want to just keep them calm, um, because obviously if they're not calm, <laughs> you won't be able to do what you need to do, so, um, yeah, it's okay, honey. So, it's hard to tell because nothing is like popping out like in my other chicken, but there's definitely some signs that, you know, that stuff is getting stuck to her fur. Um, and she definitely seems 
to be a little swollen down here. So, um, I think what I'm going to do for now is just make sure she's clean. There's no prolapse coming out. That seems pretty intact. Um, so I'm going to spray this area. So I use um, this spray here, Better Ricin. I got it at Tractor Supply. Um, you can get it, you know, uh, Tractor Supply, probably Amazon. And it's just like an antiseptic spray. So I'm going to spray that on there. And it just provides a little barrier to prevent infection. And it also helps heal the air, especially if there's prolapse. So, um, so I'm going to do a little research, see what's going on down here. Um, but anytime you notice something like this, you definitely want to take a look at what's going on. So bring them in, you know, very minimal supplies, rubber gloves pan of water to soak them in, um, and that's that.